click the bell icon to get latest videos from Ikeda. Hello friends, now we are going to talk about a new chapter and the chapter is chemistry in everyday life out of which we are going to talk about the topic that is drugs and the characteristic of an ideal drug. So what is drug and what are those characteristics that I am going to talk about? Let me discuss about that in this topic. So friends, drugs is what we understand that is it is a medicine which in fact it kills the microorganisms which are very much helpful for us and thereby it makes us cure. So what is the actual definition of drug? This is what we are going to talk about and the definition is that is drugs are defined as the substance which are used for the purpose of diagnosis, prevention, cure or relief of a disease. So sometimes it is basically confused between a drug and medicine. So there is not actually a scientific reason be difference between the drug and medicine. But yes, there are few causes that we could talk about drugs as well as medicines. For example, drugs are the one they can cure disease, but but they have also a tendency which is known as toxicity, and they are very much addictive also if when they are consumed in a larger quantity. And okay, about medicines, medicines are also they have a work to kill the microorganisms which are basically harmful for us. But yes, they also cure. But the thing is, they are not that much additive, and that's the reason they don't have that much of side effect or that much of toxicity. So therefore, these are the two major difference between a drug and that is medicine. But here we are going to talk about drug, and in this case, basically we are going to talk about such medicines or such chemical substance which are used to kill microorganisms or disease causing substance. So this is what I am going to talk about. So this was nothing but drug. But what is basically the characteristic of an ideal drug? This is what I want to explain. So friends, before understanding the characteristic of an ideal drug, let us understand that is, so the drug word is basically derived from a French word that is drug, that means dry herb. So that's the reason that all the medicines or all the chemical substances that we are extracting from the plants or from any other animals so as to prepare a particular medicine, so as to prepare a particular drug, they are basically used to cure a disease and that's the reason the name drug has been named. So based on that, we have certain ideal characteristic of a particular drug and those are the first characteristic that I want to talk about is it should not disturb the physiological process for example suppose if we consume a particular drug so it should not affect the other biological process or other physiological process that takes place in our body it should always cure the disease part and it should not affect the other physiological process so talking about the next point that is it should be harmless to the host for example if you are consuming any drug and suppose if particular part of our body is basically infected so while consuming a particular drug or while applying a particular drug on that body part the body part should not get affected the only thing is the region where we see the bacteria or any other microorganisms are there which are affecting our body that should be affected but it should not affect the host or the part of the body so this is the second point that is what i have discussed about and now let us talk about the third point that is it should act on desired site of action suppose if you are talking about infection that occurs in stomach and suppose if you are consuming a particular drug or suppose if any drug is basically we are intaking it so in that case the drug should only affect the infected part of our body it should not affect the other parts so that's the reason that this is basically the act on the desired site of action this is and what is the action of drug on our body so this is what we are going to talk about in our next lecture but for a while let us understand the next point the next point is it should have minimum side effect obviously that is whenever we consume that is a medicine or a drug so it cures that particular disease but the chances are of also the side effects even the side effects are such thing that even though by consuming a drug our disease can be cured but the thing is the other side effect can also start for which we have to consume other drug so a particular ideal drug should not have a side effect and therefore this all are we see the main four points of the main four characteristic of an ideal drug and this is what i have discussed about here so thank you friends for watching this video i hope you have understood that is what is drug and what are the characteristic of an ideal drug and that's it Thank you for watching this video. I hope I will see you next time. Till then, don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Thank you so much.